Hey guys. So today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video, but really that's not the real reason why I'm doing this video. Uh, I don't think anybody really cares what's in my bag, but the reason I wanted to talk about my bag today is because, well, first of all, <laughs> this if you saw my last haul video, then you know that I got a small, it doesn't look small on camera right now, but to me it's very small. It's a small crossbody bag by BCBG, and um, I found this at TJ Maxx for $35, so score! <laughs> um, yeah, when you can get a designer bag for $35, that's a very good day. But anyways, um, the reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because I used to always carry a large handbag because I always wanted to have all this stuff with me. And my bag was so heavy and it was very uncomfortable dragging that all over the place. But I used to just, I wanted a large bag because, well, number one, I did like the way they looked. But I always wanted to have everything with me that I needed at all times. And after a while, I just couldn't stand how heavy it was anymore. So I transitioned into like a medium-sized bag. And that was better because it wasn't as heavy, but I still felt like it was too much stuff. Every time I opened my bag, and I'd be trying to reach for things inside and, you know, pushing things out of the way, and it was still too much stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be fantastic to only carry with me what I absolutely needed? And that's why I bought this bag. Plus, I just really liked the way that it looked, and I loved that it was a designer name, for a very reasonable price. So I bought this bag and it's got like this quilted effect on it and it's got the BCBG symbol on the front and boy you know you wouldn't think it would make any difference what brand your bag was but people really notice it. I can't believe how many comments I've gotten from total strangers like at stores if I'm shopping or something and they'll say something about all right, just for example, um, when I was shopping at the CCO at the mall, the new mall, uh, Tanger Outlet Mall at Foxwoods, the lady at the CCO looked down at my bag and she says, oh, they're opening a BCBG store right next to us next week. And I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, but I only paid $35 for mine at TJ Maxx, so I probably wouldn't pay you know, whatever a brand new BCBG, BCBG bag is going for. I mean, um, it would be nice to have a huge selection of things to pick from, but I'm so happy with this. I know this isn't really a fall and winter color, but I really love the shade of blue, and I feel like because it's a deeper shade of blue, I can pull it off for a year-round type bag does have a chain handle on it and I bought a bag years ago that was a small crossbody bag with a chain handle and it didn't take very long for me to realize that if you're going to buy a bag with a heavy chain handle like this make sure that the top of the handle has a leather strap on it because if it doesn't that chain is going to dig into your shoulder and be very painful um, fortunately, that bag that I bought was very inexpensive, so I used it a few times and um, switched to another bag and then ended up tossing it later on. But yeah, that's really, really important that it has a leather piece on the top. All right, now, the downside to carrying a bag like this is you can't fit hardly anything in it. And what I have done, as I'm sure you can see, on the sides is I've got stuff hanging off the sides of it and that's because I can't fit that stuff in the bag so first let me show you what's on the outside of the bag and then I'll show you what's on the inside of the bag so this is my newest acquisition I just got this yesterday and it's a hand sanitizer holder and I found this at Five Below it's in the shape of a cupcake and I just thought it was really adorable because Cold and flu season is coming, people. <laughs> and when my husband and I go out to eat, it, when we go to a restaurant, 
the first thing we'll do when we get seated is, well, after we look at the menu and place our order, because a million people have touched that menu before, before you have. So after we turn the menus back in, we'll use hand sanitizer. Uh, because that way, you know, chances are you'll be eating with a knife and fork, but if they give you rolls or something that requires you to actually touch the food, it's nice to have sanitized your hands first. And if I go to a mall or something, um, you know, and I have my hands on the escalator handle or whatever, and the door handles to enter and exit the mall, it's just a good idea to use hand sanitizer a lot, especially this time of year. So I got that yesterday. Then on the other side, I have my keys. And yes, I have keys. I have um, rewards cards. Um, the, these little kind are so much more convenient than fishing for something in your wallet. Plus, if you use these things, then your wallet isn't filled with the large size rewards cards. Now, I do have some in my wallet because I can't fit all of them on here. Not only that, but um, not every place gives you these little keychain type ones. So there's that. Now inside the bag, yeah, I can't fit hardly anything. So the first thing that you see in my bag is this pouch. And I'm thinking about maybe not carrying this pouch, but um, because then I'd have even more room in the bag, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of using this. What's inside this pouch is my new cell phone that my husband got me the other day. And it's um, my very first smartphone, <laughs> believe it or not. Nothing like uh, taking this long to get with the 21st century, huh? I had... Um, one of those pay-as-you-go phones, the really small kind with a flip-top screen. Didn't have uh, internet on it. It was just, I used to use it to make phone calls. It had a camera in it, but it wasn't a very good camera. But now I have a smartphone. This is just an LG. It isn't anything fancy at all. I didn't, I was perfectly happy with the phone that I had, but my husband really wanted me to have a smartphone for some reason. Probably because he has one and he loves it. So this is just another pay-as-you-go phone, uh, but it's, the other one I had was an LG too, so I had a heck of a time trying to get a case for this though, but fortunately, after having gone to a million stores trying to get one and not being able to find one, I found um, a store at the mall that sold cases for pretty much every phone in existence. Um... So I was able to find a case. I like these rubber type cases, silicone, because if you do accidentally drop your phone for some reason, if it lands, if it lands bottom side down, it usually won't break. But even if it lands front side down, there's just enough rubber, I think, on that other side that it would protect it. But anyways, um, so I've got my new phone in there. And then also in this pouch, I have my iPod Touch because the camera on these things is amazing. And if I'm going to do Instagram or something like that, I much prefer the camera on this than the one on my new phone. This is just a really fantastic camera. And also in this pouch in the zippered compartment is a set of um, earbuds because if I'm going to an appointment of some kind and I'm going to use their Wi-Fi at a business, um, I might not want to disturb the people around me and just, you know, have earbuds to use for whatever I'm doing, you know, just just earbuds, basic earbuds. So that's what's in this pouch thing. And then I have a little change purse. And these kind of change purses, you, you push on, on it like that, and then you just put your coins in it. These are so great. I really love this. I don't remember where I found it. But this style of change purse is great. The wallet that I had been using had a change purse in it. 
but I had to switch to this wallet because um, my other wallet was so huge that if I had kept on using that wallet, that's all that would have been in my purse. I wouldn't have had room for anything else. So I switched to this one, which was one that I already had, which I don't remember what brand this is or where I bought it, but it's just a very slim, thin wallet. And then the only other thing that I have in here is I have this lipstick case and it's it's, it's kind of uh, showing a little bit of wear now, but I had found this at Dollar Tree actually. But what I like it for is whatever I'm using for lipstick for the day, I just pop it in this lipstick case and then it has a little mirror on the side. Oh, it's by Maybelline. <laughs> um, so I guess Maybelline used to make these at one time, but it's just really handy to take whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day, pop it in here, and take it with me so that I can reapply if I want to. And then the little mirror is great too because if I don't happen to be in my car, if I'm like at a restaurant or something, I can just reapply it. And um, I just have a, a little package of tissue. I, I have to fold it in half and real shove it down the side to fit it in there. And then the only other thing I have in here are some lens wipes. Uh, these are so great for getting fingerprints off your screen for your um, mobile devices and so these are these come in handy for a lot of things you know you can also use these if you run out of hand sanitizer these are great to use on your hands too so I have like three of those in the little uh, flap thing inside here there's a zipper compartment in the back, but I got more raw uh, lens wipes in there. So that's all that I can fit in my new bag. So that's definitely something to take into, into consideration. If you're interested in switching to a smaller bag, you need to realize that you won't be able to fit hardly anything in it. But it is so freeing to have almost nothing in my bag. I really do not miss lugging around a heavy, heavy bag anymore. And um, I love the style of this. I love that I can put it across my body and have both my hands free so that if I have shopping bags or something, I'm not trying to juggle my bag and my shopping bags. Plus, if I'm at a store and I'm trying to look at things, I can just put this bag across my body and then I can actually take things off the shelf and look at them and have both hands. It's it's great. I wish I had done this a long time ago, but for some reason I had it in my head that I had to have all this stuff with me all the time. So if you've ever thought about um, switching to a smaller bag, I, I strongly recommend it. I really, really like it. It's just, like I said, it's very freeing. So that's my what's in my bag video and uh, I appreciate you watching and have a great weekend and I will probably see you next week. Bye.